everyone. My name is Kristen Cruz and welcome to AP United States History. I'm so excited to be your teacher this year. Um, I know that this is not what we wanted. We would rather be uh, in the classroom and in person and learning that way. But I want to promise you that I'm working very hard to make sure that this year is engaging for you, that you come out um, a better student and more prepared for college because of the rigors of this AP course. Uh, but more importantly, I want to make sure that you become a more informed citizen and, and more engaged as, as a citizen, um, because we're going to be learning how to use history as a tool to think critically about events as they're unfolding in real time something that I think a lot of adults wish they had more of, especially the last six months, um, as we've seen um, history being made, we're living it right now. Um, and then also a lot of events that have occurred where people have asked, well, I wish I knew you know, some context for that situation. Um, so I'm excited for this year um, and I hope that you're starting to get excited um, and if not yet, we're, we'll make sure within the first couple of weeks of school. So a little bit about myself. I've been at Reagan um, for 10 years. I've been teaching American history the entire time. Um, the last six years, I've taught the AP course, um, which I absolutely love. Um, I love the complexity of it, and I love teaching the, the analytical skills. Um, I am uh, the Youth and Government Delegation Leader. Uh, I also serve on the Scholarship Committee and the Curriculum Committee. Within the school system, I am a teacher leader, which is basically like a mentor for the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Teacher Academy. Um, I am a lifelong learner. I love to listen to podcasts when I can. Um, and love to read. Um, I also like to uh, to kind of grow my knowledge of not only education, but really um, like historical events. So I have done, um, I've attended the White House Historical Society's Teacher Institute in Washington, D.C. I have, uh, I was selected as Virginia Fox's teacher in Congress. Um, this past year, I was selected for the Daughters of the American Revolution Outstanding History Teacher of the Year. Um, and I just really enjoy um, kind of seeking out opportunities where I can learn more um, for my own personal <laughs> interests, but also I like to show my students um, that you're never too old to stop learning and you can always improve and, al and always grow. Um, at home, at home, I am the mom to uh, my son, Jackson, who is six years old, and my son, Carter, who is three. Um, my husband is Hunter. He works for a local commercial site development company, um, and we've been married for 10 years this year. Um, so a little bit about AP US history. It is a, a rigorous course. It is very difficult. Um, but with all that being said, um, I promise you that I will guide you and I will be here for you as long as you come to me with questions, especially in virtual learning. Just really make sure that you are communicating with me as much as possible. Um, the more comfortable you feel with me, the better, right? So that we can kind of build that relationship to where I can help you. Um, I will put in as much time and effort as possible to help you succeed as long as you want, uh, you need that help. Um, there's a lot of writing. There's typically also a lot of reading. Um, but again, we're really not trying to memorize. We're trying to connect historical events and really show a greater understanding, which is why there is so much writing. Um, and that's how you'll mostly be uh, evaluated this year. Okay. The first thing that we need to talk about really quickly before we look at Canvas is this book. So I sent a letter home um, earlier this summer. And if your court, if you're, if anything has changed, your schedule has changed, and maybe you're at the Career Center and now you're with me, you might not know anything about this. But this is the book that we're going to be using this year. Um, it is a lot 
simpler to read than the book that was selected by the school system for AP. Um, where when I was reading with, it was, used to be called, it, it's called The Enduring Vision is the, the name of the, the book that we used to use. Um, and in order to kind of get all the content information, students were reading like 80 to 100 pages a week. Um, we read a chapter a week and it's about 20 to 40 pages max that you'll read a week in this small little book. Um, and it's condensed down. And so I really need you to maybe either purchase this or to borrow one from a sibling or a friend. Um, if that is not an option, and they're about 18 to $20. Um, if that is not possible, just let me know. We're going to figure out how to do book distribution, but I do have some copies, personal copies that I can kind of check out to you for the year. We'll just have to communicate with me um, so where I, we can kind of figure out when that will happen. We just don't know when that will happen quite yet. Um, a couple things about it, though. Some of you might, since I sent out that letter, the publisher has decided to make a fourth edition that will not be coming out until mid-September. So if you go to the publisher's website, there's a fourth edition where you can only pre-order it. You don't need that edition. You can for sure get the third edition. It's on Amazon for like $20. Um, I know that you guys aren't watching this until like the, almost the week of school. So if you have not ordered it yet, please, please, please make sure that you order as soon as possible because we are going to start probably within the second week, third week, for sure, we'll start having assignments related to the course reading. So if you'll get that done as soon as possible and just contact me if you have any questions about it. It's a really good book. It's very helpful. Um, this is going to be your best friend this year. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through um, my Canvas page, which is a new platform. Um, I was a little worried about having to learn about a new platform kind of going into this year. However, I do want to reassure you that you are going to really like Canvas as a student. I'm already starting to really like it as a teacher. So I'm going to show you my Canvas page. Um, I've been working throughout the summer trying to make it as appealing, visually appealing, but also functional for you guys um, because you are going to be spending so much time on it. Um, this is student view. So this is kind of what yours will look like. You'll have a to-do list. Um, basically, as I create assignments, they'll be put in here. You can also view those on your calendar with all your other courses. Um, and so I basically designed it where there are different buttons. So each little image is a button that takes you to a different page. Um, so about Ms. Cruz, the syllabus, um, a push letters, so from alumni, they wrote you guys a series of letters to kind of give you an idea of what to expect. Um, and then the links for office hours and uh, class meetings. Now this, as of now, is kind of subject to change. Um, however, I have created secure Zoom meetings. We are now, as a school district, going to be able to use Zoom. Um, instead of Microsoft Teams, which is very exciting. Um, so I have, make sure you sign up for the right period when we get there. Um, but also office hours on Fridays for tutoring or help. Um, I'm going to show you guys the Remind so that you can join the Remind at the end of the video. Um, and so we'll use these links to meet as a class on, the, on your respective days and at your respective time for about 30 to 45 minutes where we'll um, either, you know, talk about an assignment that we're going to do or maybe some answer some questions about the content. Um, I'm going to be really kind of running this course this year kind of in a flipped way where typically you would go to class and your teacher, your AP teacher would lecture. You're actually going to watch le lectures and read um, your textbook at home. Obviously, you're doing all of it at home, but you'll read that first and then we'll come to class. And class time is really going to be more about applying history. We're going to be writing a lot. Um, we're going to be doing different activities and getting to think and making connections. So we'll, that's how we'll use our synchronized in-class time on Zoom. Um, under the syllabus and course resources, it's, it's basically like a little overview of the time period. It also gets into, without overwhelming you too much, um, it does get into the course evaluation. This is something that people are always wanting to know more about. 
Um, it's, a, it's a college level course. So tests and essays are weighted heavier. Um, they're weighted about at 65%. And then the, the activities and other little assignments and practice writing responses are weighted at 35%. Um, and that's just more consistent with what a college class is going to be like. You know, college professors aren't going to give you little worksheets to do for grades, and they're not going to give you busy work, and I'm not going to give you busy work either. But re the really the majority of your course is going to be, or your grade is going to be de decided in um, major essays and tests. Um, we will be uh, conducting those tests um, during, um, like during, during our Zoom time period so that, you know, your camera will be on. Uh, we cannot have any issues of academ academic misconduct. Um, I kind of view it as it's, it's not really going to help you in the long run. You're not allowed to share information with other students and tell kids, you know, this is what, it's all different anyways. I have different versions, but um, I don't want you texting and taking pictures of the screen and things like that because it is very difficult for teachers to come up with their AP teachers to come up with test questions and uh, we want to kind of protect that and it also it's, it's in the best interest of all the students. Um, the test will be consists of um, some multiple choice and free response questions. So document-based questions, long essays, and short answer questions. Um, quizzes will be kind of more like fill in the blank, multiple choice, um, and in addition to short answer questions. Um, but we can talk more about that in class. Um, we don't need to dive, overwhelm you too much. Um, one of the most important things that you're going to use is these buttons down here. These are going to take you to a unit page um, that has all the different resources for that unit. Now, the College Board calls these not units, but time periods. So period one dates from 1491 to 1607. Um, and I ha I'll have like a running list of, uh, basically, I'm going to use a lot of Google Docs. So for this is what a chapter guide will look like. And so it'll help you kind of stay accountable as you read and, um, and or watch one of my lectures. Um, my lectures are on this page as well. So I've uploaded them all to YouTube. Um, well, I'm still working on them. I've only done one so far, but <laughs> it's gonna be a, um, quite an experience. It's something I've been wanting to do for a few years now. So I'm excited about that opportunity. So you'll have a lecture posted here that you can watch whenever uh, you can. I'm going to try to keep them to under an hour, but you can still break those up whenever you want to. Um, this will be a really important resource for you. Another uh, important resource right here are going to be the modules. So you click on this little button right here. Um, and you have a running list of assignments. And they'll be broken down. So like some of them, you know, little things. Um, does history repeat itself is going to be an assignment we're going to do within the first couple weeks of school. My Google Docs aren't showing up in student view, so I apologize. It's a little teaser. Um, but basically, you will take one of these, these Google Docs, you'll make a copy. So for example, you'd make a copy of this. Um, and then when it's time to turn it in, you would hit submit assignment. Um, and then I can grade them. And so that's kind of a cool feature. Um, that you can do with Canvas. I hope that was helpful seeing my Canvas page. Again, it's really gonna be the way that we're communicating the most this year. Um, throughout the year, I will be consistently asking for feedback from you, the students, and from you as parents as to how I can improve virtual learning. Um, I'm a first year teacher this year is kind of how I view it. Um, it's going to be a challenge uh, for you guys as students and as parents um, and as teachers. And as long as we all work together and as long as we all know that we are trying to do our best, I think it's going to be a great year. Um, and I am, I am really looking forward to it. Quick reminder, make sure if you have not already done so, get your AMSCO book. Um, contact me, please, if you would like to borrow one of my copies. Just keep in mind that you can't write in it or sticky notes or anything like that. Um, and even if you just have questions about which one to get, just please feel free. 
Um, also, go ahead and find your Remind code now that we're at the end of the video and join Remind. And feel free to also send me messages through that if you have any immediate questions or concerns. Otherwise, email will be perfect. Um, I can't wait to see you the week of August 17th in person, and I can't wait to learn with you.